In this lesson, I'll show you how to use the mass per volume percent to find the mass of a solute. Question reads, a topical antibiotic is 1.0% mass per volume clindomycin. How many grams of clindomycin are in 60.0 milliliters of the 1.0% mass per volume solution? To do a problem like this, it doesn't hurt to know a little bit about percentage. So we have 1.0% and what I want to do is convert this percentage into a fraction because that will give us an idea of mass and volume here. So to convert a percentage into a fraction, we divide by 100, 100%. So if I divide this by 100%, I should end up with 1.0 over 100, or simply 1 over 100. And we can say that we have 1 gram of clindomycin per every 100 milliliters. This is a mass unit and this is a volume unit. To break this down further, I can say that there is 1.0 grams of clindamycin of clindamycin to 100 milliliters of this antibiotic. So I'll just say milliliters of solution just to simplify things. Now what they're asking is how much mass of clindamycin will there be if there's 60 milliliters of this solution? What we will do is take 60 and notice that there's a decimal right after the zero that means that both of these numbers are significant. And I'll multiply it to this mass per volume ratio that we created. And we're saying that it's 60 milliliters of solution and this over here represents 100 milliliters of solution. So this unit, the milliliter unit here and the milliliter unit here will cancel out leaving us with the grams or the mass of clindamycin. So using our calculator 60 divided by 100, essentially I took 60 times 1 which I'm not showing because it's 60 and then I divide it by the denominator 100 and I end up with 0 0.6 0.6 and we want this to two significant figures because this is two significant figures and so is that. 0 0.60 grams of clindamycin. So to break this down even further, in order to be successful with these types of problems you need to understand how to go from a percentage to fraction and we established over here that you divide by 100 percent. Then you dedicate the numerator of that fraction to the mass and the denominator of that fraction to the volume of the solution. And then finally, in our case here, we multiplied the volume of the medicine bottle, which happened to be 60 milliliters, to this to find the mass of the active ingredient being clindamycin. In question number two, in 2010, the FDA approved 2.0% mass per volume morphine oral solution to treat severe or chronic pain. How many grams of morphine does a patient receive if 0 0.60 milliliters of 2.0% mass per volume morphine solution was ordered? So once again, we'll convert 2.0% as a fraction by dividing it by 100%. I'll just let my calculator do the work here. 2 divided by 100, and we end up with 1 gram of morphine per every... 50 milliliters of solution. Notice that I've changed this percentage into a fraction. We're being told how many grams, so we're looking for the mass, how many grams if a patient receives 0 0.60 milliliters? 0 0.60 milliliters, multiply to this, one gram of morphine, per 50 milliliters of solution. This will cancel out with that. And I'll take 0 0.60 divided by 50. And we end up with 0 0.012 grams of morphine is what this patient will receive. And there you have it. Two examples on how to use mass per volume percent to find mass of solute.